Okay, we've got another microcontroller question for us here. This is an automatic orange juicer. So it peels fresh oranges and then discards the peel and cleans out the motor mechanism uh, automatically. So it's a sub procedure shown here called clean. The first thing it does is turn the motor on and the motor on would ensure that the peel has been disposed of. It will keep the motor on until it has been disposed of, then it turns the motor off. It then turns on cleaning water for half a second and then turns it off. Waits another half a second and makes sure that that's done four times. If it's only been done twice, it'll loop back until the four next loop registers four times and then it returns from the sub procedure back to the main program. So let's have a look at what we're actually been expected to do. Well, here's our table shown as our inputs and outputs. And the first thing I can see is that pin zero actually turns on and off the cleaning water. So pin zero is normally a, an input, but in this case, it's going to be set up as an output. You've then got a sensor, which is your input, which is pin one, one when the peel is sensed. And then the only other pin we've got is pin 7, which is the motor, which clears the peel. So let's have a look at how we might write a program for this. Well, the very first thing we've been asked to do in the sub procedure is turn on the motor, which is connected to pin 7. So the very first thing I'm going to write is high 7, turns on the motor. REM statement for that would be turn on motor to clear peel. Okay. Next thing we want to do is a decision and the decision is the sensor measuring whether or not there's peel detected. So the next thing we need to do is if pin 1 equals 1 then clean. Now that's a continuous loop that goes back to clean making sure that the motor stays on uh, if it detects peel. So if it doesn't detect peel it will say pin 1 it will go to 0 and it will then be able to read the next line. But as long as it remains detecting peel it will be a continuous loop. So the REM statement for that is loop back to address clean next low seven so we want to actually turn that motor off and the rem statement turn off we'll call it the peel motor it's got rid of all the peel so it's turned it off now we've got to set up a four next loop because we know that this cleaning cycle is going to last four times. So for B0 equals 1, 2, 4, and that would be set up the four next loop to count four times. Okay. Now we want to turn on the water. Well, cleaning water is connected to pin zero, so we want high zero, and that's turn on cleaning water. We want that to stay on for half a second, so pause 500 milliseconds, so that's a wait half second and then we want to turn off the water low zero cleaning water and another pause 500 let that clear away wait half second. Okay. 
it's got to repeat this four times. So the next thing we're looking for is the end of the four next loop. Next be zero. Continue for next until the count equals four. Now when it does equal four, it's the end of the sub procedure. So we can just put in return and the rem statement for that is go back to main program. Now the interesting thing about this question is we've not been asked to set up the direction of information register. But this is how we would do it at the start of the program. You'd write DIRS equals percentage. The direction of information register system equals. You've got eight pins. Only one of them is going to be the motor controlling output. Uh, and one of them, the cleaning water output. So we've got two output pins. The rest are input pins. So starting from our least significant bit, that wants to be a motor controller, so that's a 1. The next one is the orange peel sensor, so that wants to be 0. It doesn't really matter what the rest are, as long as pin 7, our most significant bit, is also an output. So I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the final one is a 1. So set up one as the uh, motor, zero as the cleaning water on, the rest can be inputs. Okay, so sets up pins zero and seven as outputs, the rest can be inputs. And that is that question.